If rising seas engulf the Maldives and Tuvalu, will those countries be wiped off the map? What would happen to their citizens? This is no longer the script from a science fiction novel. This could soon be a reality. Since 1900s, sea levels have already risen 15 to 25 centimeters. If warming trends continue, the oceans could rise by nearly one additional meter around the Pacific and the Indian Ocean islands by the end of the century. This is still below the highest point of the smallest, flattest island states. However, rising seas will be accompanied by an increase in storms and tidal surges. This could make many islands inhabitable. According to a study cited by the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, five nations may be uninhabitable by 2100. It would create 6 lakh stateless climate refugees. These five countries are the Maldives, Tuvalu, the Marshall Islands, Nauru, and Kiribati. The 1933 Montevideo Convention on the Rights and Duties of States says, a state consists of a defined territory, a permanent population, a government, and the capacity to interact with other states. So, if the territory is swallowed up or no one can live on what is left of it, at least one of these criteria falls. In September, several Pacific governments launched the Rising Nations Initiative. This was done to convince members of the UN to recognize the nation even if they are submerged underwater. With many countries still pursuing a future fueled by coal, oil and gas, this is the first time in history that the collective action of many nations or more accurately, the collective inaction of many nations will be responsible for making sovereign countries uninhabitable. Mr. President, this is why Tuvalu and the Marshall Islands launched the Rising Nation Initiative two days ago to fill the current gaps in awareness, legal framework, and political commitment. The global community must begin a serious and responsible dialogues that acknowledge both the realities and the rights of the Pacific Island nations, such as mine. Experts say a political process must be started to preserve the future of such uninhabitable states. They say this would give hope to people, otherwise the current state of uncertainty can create bitterness that can kill a nation.